Hey everyone, my name's Adam Marcher, and today we're going to be taking a look at a neat piece of Leatherman tool and knife history. This is the Leatherman pocket survival tool, as you can see right there and on the reverse side. So the Leatherman pocket survival tool was Leatherman's first multi-tool. And what actually makes this even more special is that this was a version requested by Marlboro Country Store. So I'm probably saying that incorrectly, Marlboro. Um, it is the cigarette company. So opening this up, you of course have the standard Leatherman box. Um, this was just a cardboard sleeve, although we will be seeing that logo coming right back up. Very cool box you don't normally see, uh, or it kind of has that older box look. Um, a lot of modern boxes you don't see in kind of a black color. Uh, a lot of times it's more of an exciting uh, reds, blues, and that type of stuff. Um, of course, this says the original Leatherman pocket survival tool, pliers in your pocket. This was proudly made in the USA in Portland, Oregon. 100% uh, stainless steel and has a 25 year warranty. Interesting thing about the 25 year warranty, you can see on this box it does say 1992. So that means we are outside of that 25 year warranty. Although at this point, due to this having the box still, still having the Marlboro sleeve, it being still in new condition. This is more of a collector's piece, very usable collector's piece, but is more of a collector's piece at this moment, especially now that I, or since I have multiple um, Leatherman waves that I could use in the case that I do need a multi-tool. So let's zoom out a little bit, open up this box. So on the inside, let's, we have the knife in a leather sheath, or the multi-tool in a leather sheath, as well as the original paperwork, as you can see here. It has the 25 year guarantee on the back here. Um, if within 25 years from the date of purchase you find any defect in material or workmanship, the Leatherman tool, return it to Leatherman Group for repair, replacement, or refund. So, Leatherman has one of the best warranties there is. Um, it's not a lifetime warranty, but it might as well be. Um, if you break something on your Leatherman tool, um, something doesn't function correctly, you can just send it right back to them, and they will um, they actually don't normally repair your own tool unless you specifically request it. They send you another one that has already been repaired and is in perfect condition. Um, so I've sent multiple tools to them, and they have fixed it every single time. Absolutely fantastic. So the other parts of the paperwork is it has a guide to show all the different tools on your Leatherman or on the pocket survival tool and how to use them, such as how to use the ruler um, and some of the other features, um, opening and closing, some safety instructions, um, and all of that including maintenance. So let's take a look at the leather sheath. Let's make sure some of these things are out of frame so it's not distracting to you guys or doesn't distract the camera mostly. So as you can see, we have the Marlboro Country Store stamp again on the leather sheath. Make sure you can see that well. So right there. And then we have a button snap that keeps the knife or the multi-tool in the sheath. So opening that up, you have the actual multi-tool. It says um, U.S. registered, it of course, has the trademark number, Leatherman tool, and then Portland, Oregon. Um, some of the Leatherman survival tools were actually produced in Japan, um, which I just learned today, maybe 10, well, how, uh, five minutes ago, maybe a minute before this video. Uh, you see the an etching of the Marlboro logo again, right there, kind of neat. And then let's open up this tool. On the back, or on the spine of the tool, you have the um, the ruler, and of course the main thing of Leatherman tools is the pliers. So you have the pliers there, nice tip on there, of course, the wire cutters right there and the nice 
Jaws. Um, USA, or on the pliers, it says USA Leatherman. And on the reverse, it says USA Leatherman. So let's show that up close. There you go. And it has this little, I think this is considered the lanyard attachment right there. So if you want to put a lanyard on it, make it a little bit easier to pull out of your pocket, you do have that option. Now, let's take a look at the tools. It does have a lot of flathead screwdrivers. So if you need a lot of them in a lot of different sizes, the pocket survival tool may be the tool for you. So we have the large flathead screwdriver. We have the medium flathead screwdriver. We have not the small, but we actually have an awl. So in case you're wanting to um, work on leather or dig into wood, you have an awl right there. This one's actually not too sharp. I know in um, the Leatherman Waves, the awl is very sharp. None of these tools are actually locking. It uses a um, kind of like a, a slip joint knife. So the tension of the back here, as well as when you close up the knife or the handle, it kind of locks it into place as well. And of course you have the blade right there. So we can pull that and it kind of, it doesn't lock, but of course it has that spring tension. Um, on here it says Leatherman USA. I think, yeah. Leatherman USA on the tang of the blade. Right there. On the reverse, it doesn't have anything. But there's the blade. Make sure you guys can see that. So let's close that up. On the other handle, you have the file which has two different styles. Um, this like cross or crisscross pattern on one side and just a one direction on the other. And I know you guys were really looking forward to this. They do have a small flathead screwdriver as well. Um, I know you were really needing one since they had a medium and large. Um, we have a Phillips screwdriver in only one size. Kind of disappointing. I'm just joking. That's not not disappointing, but we do have a Phillips screwdriver and a combination bottle and can opener right there. Now, one thing that you may find interesting is due to Leatherman's having a 25-year warranty, they do actually have a date code on them. So this one was made the fifth month of 94, which let's see if you guys can see that date code would be right there. Mm. Let's see, I'll put my finger right below it. Can you see that? It should be right in there. I can't actually see it using from my screen, but I'm hoping you guys can. I don't know, but they do all, well, almost all Leatherman tools have a date code on the inside of them so that Leatherman can see um, when they were produced for warranty reasons. Um, anyways, that is the Leatherman pocket survival tool. Hopefully you enjoyed let me know what you think about this piece of Leatherman history. Anyways, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Just put this away. Put it away on camera. Suspense me. So it removes all suspense when I start talking. See you guys later. Bye.